Hey, what's up? It's Philip from Easy Unreal, and let me today share with you guys how to create a simple house in Unreal Engine 5. This is a beginner uh, level tutorial, so if you are new to Unreal, I think this will be very helpful to you. I also included this floor plan so you can actually create your house according to the floor plan we'll add these materials over here design the whole house very simple house and add some lighting to it inside this is just a basic tutorial uh, for you to start your uh, house uh, building journey let's go the first step is to create a project maybe we'll go to the architecture but this is not necessary for now because in this uh, architecture template you can import from the data smith for example if you are uh, importing from a blender or 3ds max and so on but we will do this uh, directly in unreal engine 5 so we can just easily go with games go with third person we want to for example walk uh, through our house and uh, make sure that over here is blueprint starter content make sure that this is enabled we can edit this uh, later this starter content if you didn't do this i will show you how but it's easier to do this right now uh, let's name this project for example house project and click create and we are in our third person template uh, let's create a new level and start click go file new level and just choose basic and hit create if you are really new to Unreal Engine, I will now uh, play a video that will explain you how to move around the Unreal Engine and if you know this, you can just skip this part. Just a quick tip, to move around the editor, hold down the right mouse button and use standard first person shooter keys. To go up and down, use Q and E. And while doing this, scroll the mouse wheel up and down to speed up or slow down the camera. If you are far from the object, use F to focus. To move objects, press W key and use the arrows. To rotate, press E key. And to scale it, press R. All these options are available at the top right corner. You can check all these shortcuts and more in the description below. The next step is that we want to delete this floor, so just select it and hit delete. And we will create one simple landscape. Go over here under the landscape. Over here that you, you can see location. Let's make sure that this is 0, 0 and 0 and hit create. And we have a simple landscape. The next thing we want to do is go back to the selection mode and uh, select landscape in the outliner on the right side. Before we start creating our house, let's add some materials to our landscape. Make sure to select it in the outliner and scroll down until it says landscape material. And now make sure in the content browser that, select, that you select content and over here type in grass. And we have this material, this grass. Now just drag and drop it to the landscape material. And just like that, we have our material. If you want to hide everything, these things over here, you can just press G on your keyboard and you will have this nice clean game view or F11 to go full screen and F11 to go back. So you have these 75 tips and tricks uh, for Unreal Engine 5 uh, that will make you uh, work uh, faster and more efficient. Okay, just hit over here X to delete and we need to find our floors to do that we will go to the starter content if you didn't uh, check the starter content when we created our project you can simply go over here to add add feature or content pack go to content click starter content and click add to project and you will have this starter content uh, expand this and over here under the architecture we have our assets so let's start building our house to do that we will need this floor just drag and drop it to the level Press W on your keyboard and move it a little bit up because you can see this flickering effect. This is uh, when two textures are close to each other, so they are fighting for uh, your for the render. So to fix that, just move this a little bit up. Let's create our floor. We'll create this one. So hold Alt and move this on the right and release your left mouse button. And if you go here, you can see that we successfully copied and we want to snap it to each other. Let's select both of these with holding shift and hold alt. And now select all four of them. Hold alt. Move it here. Go again and move it here. Make sure to snap it to each other to have the perfect floor. Okay, we have the floor. Now let's add the walls. The procedure is uh, similar, just move this wall door to the level. Now press E on your keyboard and rotate it 90 degrees if you want. Press W and position it where you want this to be positioned. Let's say we want to position it 
exactly on this door over here so we'll move it here uh, press G again so you can see this uh, grid so you can position it to the grid and now they are similar over here for example like this okay from now let's delete this and make a smaller house you assume that we want to drag and drop the walls drag and drop these things with uh, windows and so on but you don't need to do that it's easier to select this that we already uh, snapped that we already position it and hold alt and move it here maybe if you are a beginner true beginner this will be very how to say tedious to be imprecise and so on so just practice don't worry and in with time you will uh, get uh, used to it you will get hang of it and it will be super fast now let's copy it again because i'm doing this because i want to show you one trick for example select this one and this one and scroll up here that says static mesh this way we can select everything and immediately replace uh, with another thing this is a four, 400 by 400 uh, wall door it will be just wall. You drag and drop it and it will turn into a walls or you can use this as a windows for example and we have our front side of the house so let's make the back select all the three of them hold alt and move it here okay it's precise now hold alt again move it in the middle something like this hold e and rotate it 90 degrees and move it here and position it like this so it will look good and hold alt and move it here okay we have a perfectly aligned uh, house so let's change everything try to use this method for example you want to change these doors into just walls select all three of them by holding shift and move this wall 400 by 400 Pop. and we have our walls here and we have our windows i will select all the three of them and i will add more windows like this and now if i go right click over here and click play from here and hit f11 we can just go inside our house and for now it looks nice let me show you now uh, one great trick to save yourself a time creating a roof and uh, to do that we'll select whole shift and select all these floor assets and uh, you can do this by going Control G, for example, to group it. And we can group this actor. You can see in the outline, outliner that we have this group actor zero. So we can just move it up here or, or copy paste it. What we wanna do, we want to hold Alt and duplicate our floor. So this will be our roof. As you can see, we have this flickering. So to fix this, we will move just a little bit inside and make it a little bit smaller, press R reduce the size a bit but we have a problem we have only two sizes three we want this to be smooth so we will uncheck this scale uh, snapping so we can smoothly scale for example you can see how it smoothly scales so we can just pop this a little bit inside and we are fixed and we just fixed our flickering the next step for our house is to add some materials so it looks like a house to do that uh, we will go inside for example we'll select this whole thing and we go back to the starter content and we go over here under the materials and we have a bunch of materials over here so to change the material just find the material you want and with this selected you can see these materials and just drag and drop here to change the material of our house uh, same goes with our roof and we will use this for example this marble and easily change the materials all we need to do now is to select all our walls so instead to clicking and sh holding shift we have a shortcut so we go to outliner type in wall and it will give you all the walls here so select the first one hold shift the last one all the walls are selected and now as you may guess we just need to drag this brick inside our material and we have the bricks on our house our house is not a designer house not right now but it will be in the future i hope you will make some good houses in the future this is right now some 
fort from some uh, old game. So let's uh, play it. Right click, play from here. I will hit F11 and if I go inside, we are inside our house. You can see how lightning is coming, slowly coming into our house. So if we go out, it's too bright and if you go inside, it's too dark. It's called the auto exposure. It's something that is already built inside Unreal Engine. And if you are working with your projects and uh, it's some is it's a obstacle for your flow. So we need to turn that off. I like to turn that off. If you have a need to uh, keep it on, keep it on. But to turn it off, go to edit, project settings. Over here, type in exposure and disable this auto exposure. Just disable it and close this. And now if you go inside, everything is smooth. If I go play from here, okay, it looks nice. You can see, actually, you can see the outside, it's not too bright. Another thing that you can do is go over here and go to lights and add some directional light, for example, in this, in this corner, you can add some uh, rectangle light, for example, onto this wall and make some lighting of your house. Uh, but we now have a different problem. If you run into this problem, for example, you want to move this house to the right. We can do this, we need to select everything and so on. So to do that, we'll go to the outliner and from this, make sure that you don't select the lighting, just select the floor and everything to down, except our landscape. Hold control to deselect. Control to select and hold deselect. And now we can just easily move our house or we can uh, pack this house. For example, if you go to the actor and go to merge actors, you can just merge this into one single mesh, but you will not be able to edit it later, which is not good. We want to go to level and we want to click this create level instance. Click OK and we will name this house and save it inside our content folder. Click save, wait for a bit. And if we go to the content folder, you have this house. So just drag and drop it over here and position it, for example, here. And you can also drag another house here, move it here, position it. And this way you can have multiple houses in your level. Of course, you go to landscape mode with shift two, go to sculpt and add some, for example, op and add some hills in the background. Go back to selection, go over here, click play from here. And you have your houses and some little hills in the background and it looks good. Now let's find some floor plans uh, on Google and just, uh, for example, add your floor plan, plan to the landscape and uh, you can uh, actually build your dream house around the floor plan. To do that, we'll just type in floor plant, simple house, and over here go to images and download one of them. Before we add a floor plans, make sure to save everything, Control Shift and S and name this uh, level one, for example, hit enter. So make sure that everything is saved, but uh, don't miss this house with the level. This is your level and this is your house. It's already a packed actor. Uh, if you want to unpack it, sorry, I forgot, just click on it, right click level and click break and break level instances. And if you break it, you can see that we now have, we have our parts of the house over here. You can always do that, uh, add some other textures to your uh, house. Let's add a floor plan. Just drag and drop your uh, floor plan to the Unreal Engine like this. And now right click on it and click create material. Don't worry, hit enter. This will be our material. And we now need to add one plane. Go to shapes, go to plane and you can make it uh, a little bigger. Just drag and drop your texture to the plane and you can see it over here. And now you can resize this to make it, for example, bigger. And if we go back to the architecture, we can, for example, uh, check out uh, that this is, uh, for example, a window and you drag and drop it here. You zoom it a little bit in and reduce the size position it 
and actually make the whole house according to the floor plan. And this is practically it. Uh, if you find this helpful, uh, let me know in the comments below. And don't forget to also check out the channel. I prepared for you lots and lots of videos. Uh, most of them are very beginner friendly. So if you are starting out in Unreal Engine 5, I highly recommend to check them out. And uh, this is it. Uh, happy uh, house uh, keeping, house, uh, house building. Bye bye.